What's up, guys? So, today, uh, yeah, you can tell from the title what this is going to be. Um, so, yeah, I'll just kind of get started. Uh, apologies for not making a video for a while, or really making any sort of <laughs> attempt at communication. Uh, that was a big, you know, d discussion point, was me not communicating enough, because this is usually what I would do, go absent for many months and not say anything to anybody. And uh, that's just kind of me, that's my personality, and, and it's a combination of depression, burnout, and just again, my personality. <laughs> but um, I tried I tried to like communicate with everybody the best I could, but what ended up happening is I just ended up making a lot of false promises, and it wasn't good for anybody. I, I think what, what when people said when, when they wanted communication, they, they didn't want me to just talk and say nonsense and give them false hope. They just wanted accurate information. Um, and I wasn't able to do that, and that's part of why uh, that's part of why the server is at where it's at now. Uh, so we'll talk about that um, revival two. That's the title. I'm just gonna keep it straight up, super simple. That's uh, that's gonna be the plan. So Dark and I have been talking for a little while now, and we've just kind of come to the the decision that that revival as is is just not um, maintainable, and it's it's not revivable. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's probably the best word to use given the name of the server. Um, I, now, anything is po like any everything is possible, and that's one thing I've learned. You know, I mean, I've learned many things on the server, and that was one of them. Is that like if you put in the hard work, things will you know things will happen. But I think we're at a point now where it's just going to be incredibly difficult. We're we're asking for basically one in a million type of miracle, where we just happen to have the right update at the right time with the right advertisement to get players back, but. The thing is, we've been in those situations these past few years where we've seen that, where we've had a big popular event, and it just, we had, you know, maybe 60, 70 players. Some events, we even crept into the triple digits, and then the next day, nothing, or the next month, nothing, you know. We had, well, you know, recently, uh, we I think the most we've had was, what event was it? I can't remember what event it was. It was when I first came back. Um, not well, it's hard to say when I first came back because I've I've left and come back a million times, but it was recently we had fifty players and we took screenshots and everybody's excited and we're happy and then the next day, nine players. It's so like it the, the motivation for like everyone involved, not just me as the developer, but you guys as other players. You know, you're excited one day, you log in the next, and you probably see eight other people on and then log off immediately, and that's why there's no players because. There's just no interest, no hype, and a big part of that is 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 updates. It's consistency from the freaking owner having the owner actually you know do stuff with the server, not just the owner, but I mean like development updates need to be happening. The community and community everybody needs to be on the same page, and it all 100% starts with me. I'm not trying to blame anybody else. I'm taking all the blame because it is my fault truly. I'm the one that has the control, so like you know just by the default of being that person, it's my fault. Um, I got on, I, I lost my train of thought. But the point I'm trying to make is that we're at a point now where I don't think we could. We could recover. I think even with advertisements, advertisements are really about like getting your product out there and then reminding people that your product exists, right? And that's kind of the problem we're at. People know about revival. It's not that people don't know about revival. We've been around for for almost uh, for almost four years, three and a half to be exact or so. so. People know about revival. They just they probably have negative opinions of revival, or just like oh well that's that oh crappy server that has invention. Maybe I, I don't even, I have no clue what the, the public opinion of revival is. It's probably nothing because we're just kind of an afterthought at this point. Um, and the way I see it is we could spend. Uh, like we could spend hours and hours and hours and doing weekly updates and trying our hardest we'll have 50 players one day maybe and then like 10 the next and it's gonna take one of those like once in like you know it's just gonna take something that 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 I don't you know it's gonna take something unforeseen something that I've never experienced in the history of owning the server you know so and I don't think it's it's just it's just like there's there's better things we could do with that time that could actually contribute I think we're finally at a point now where revival is this revival one has hit its course this is peak revival one it's it's the end it is the end of revival one but i'm committed to the server this server i'm committed to revival and i don't want to let you guys down i don't want to i don't want to let you guys down as much as i i mean like i already have so many times i don't want to keep doing it i, I you know what i mean like i want to i i, I want to prove you know i mean I, I feel like i've 
I've proved my commitment to revival having made it three years, but I want to keep doing that. I want to prove that even through the harshest times, like this is going to be the darkest points up there with our original release when we had no players because just no one cared. We had no, up we didn't really have a lot of updates, nothing really interesting, and no one really knew what the server would be or anything like that. And we had zero players, me and Matt basically was it. Um, and we're going to get back to that point uh, deservedly because we've, we, we gotta, we gotta go through those dark days again to find ourselves, to find revival. And we've got to make improvements. We've got to make some serious changes. Um, when you're making like a server, you don't really know what it's going to be. You know what I mean? Like you don't, I, I, I didn't know the outcome of revival. I had no clue where we would be. I had ideas, right? I had, you know, I wanted to do invention. I wanted to do God Wars 2. I wanted to do plenty of things, but I had no clue that like, you know, what would happen, when it would happen, where it would happen, how it would play out. I didn't, you know, I honestly didn't think we'd make it three years. You know what I mean? Like my last server, my, my last most successful server was only six months. So to make it this far, um, you know, I, I learned so much. And the good thing about working on Revival 2 and our plan is that we don't have to, like, learn all those lessons again. We're not compar starting completely from scratch. We're going to keep the... Uh, we're going to keep the, the source. Uh, we're going to probably make some improvements to the client, but that's more so like visual and, and getting corrected data and all that kind of stuff because that's what we, we really want. We want everything to be like you play old school, you log off, you, you log into Revival, and you almost forget for a second there until you see like some weird stuff like Invention. Like obviously I'm keeping Invention. I'm not going to remove Invention. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, we'll be reminded slowly of the server. There's so many things that we wanted to do, but it was just it was impossible for many reasons. And impractical because, like, even if you did change, if you nerfed one way or you nerfed this, you um, you know it, it has no real effect in the game. And there's people that could just come back and you know crash this economy or whatever. Um, and and I think that that we've learned a lot of those lessons and we can improve on that and make things more sustainable. You know, so let's talk about more about what what is going to be different. I'll talk about that now. So what can you expect from Revival 2? Why should you even keep listening to this freaking video? Well, for starters, we want to redo... I don't want to say everything, but a, a good majority of things will be redone. There will be a lot of... And I don't just mean like, oh, we're going to change the home location, change this, the name of the server to Revival 2, and just release it. Like, My hope is that when you first log in, you're going to have no freaking clue that you're playing the exact same source that you were playing last time. That's my goal, and I think it starts with um, XP rates, drop rates, uh, making sure the game is super user-friendly and not so, like, ghetto. And, and um, I, I appreciate our original approach to the server, John and I. This was John's home location, and I actually enjoy it a lot. That's why we never changed it. I know people didn't like it. Um, a lot of people are neutral on it, but I think more people don't like it than they do like it. But... Um, I, I did, and I just wanted to keep that because that was kind of what I was going for with Rival. It was just a fun server, but I think I've, 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 my opinion on what's fun has changed, and and I've, I've come to understand that like I've got to appeal more to the masses rather than just my niche, what what I think is fun and what and, and my niche tastes, and whatnot, you know. Because I'll have weird old, you know, we'll have well things like where it's just like you have a random swamp master at home that's never been explained, never has any purpose. Um, and I like those Easter eggs and stuff like that, but that's not really an Easter egg. It's just kind of clutter, and as a new player, it might overwhelm or confuse you. You might think it has some purpose, when in reality it doesn't. So I, I think making the game a lot more user-friendly is going to be important. Making the drop rate, so uh, rebalancing the luck boost items. Basically, essentially, I don't want to entirely remove them, because I don't think they're nearly as crazy as, as people seem to think that they are. But I, I do think that they've gotten to a point where they are. I, I've, I've kept, you know, making changes to them, so they are, I think I've, I've made them closer to what people think they are than what they really are, so I mean, I'm part of the, I'm definitely the problem, but um, I think redoing them, rebalancing them, how they're obtained and what their actual effect is, the drop rates just in general, the base drop rates, um, I think looking at them, I think the game that, that we tried to create was a fun one, right, and our, what we thought was fun was, was spam to drops and loot boxes, right? Um, but the thing that you you just don't think about the first time around, right? This is this is me calling back to that. Is like we didn't know how the server would play out. We didn't know how these boxes would play out. But once we're you know we're three down three years down the road, we've played you know all this time and we've maxed all the content, etc. Um, like I feel like boxes were one of those things where they stopped becoming fun. You just you didn't really care about any box you got. It was just another part of. They just were so common and so spammed that they weren't even special anymore. I got, like, I would start new accounts or start Ironman, and 
I'd get a box and like, oh, maybe I'll get a Visage the first day. And I'm like, oh, that's okay. But then like day three, I'm like, oh, there's a box, there's a box, there's a box, there's a box, there's a box. And I think they lost their appeal. They lost, like, they lost that special feeling about them. And over time, they got more overpowered because it's like, that's, that was kind of my logic behind trying to make them better. It's like, oh, well, if we make them more overpowered, they'll be better, right? But that only made it worse. Because you lost that, you lost the appeal of it being fun and exciting, and you obviously hurt the economy with more and more and more and more and more items. So I, I really like boxes. I mean, it's it's just it kind of stems from my childhood and, and like packs and stuff. I'm a big fan of trading cards, um, so it's always been kind of like the same thing. But I think that it's not, you know, I think that keeping the the speciality of it, making it feel like holy crap, I got a pack. I've got a I've got a mystery box. Like everyone on the server is like, oh snaps, let's see what this guy gets. I think that feeling it was was lost. I don't think there was really any boxes, and because there were so many boxes, even the higher tier boxes, um, if you got anything, it was basically just rip, 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 rip. One person would jizz because they're a new player and they don't realize, you know. So like it just it just was so common that it wasn't even special. Uh, when you if you've been watching these leagues recently. Like, their overreactions, not just so much overreactions, but just the excitement everybody has when they get drops. Like, that just, that new feeling, like, you gotta, I want to I wanna keep that and try to maintain that for as long as possible. Because obviously, we're going to hit a road where we're, you know, three years down the road from now, and we're working on Revival 3. I mean, hopefully not, but I'm just, you know, I'm just joking, but... Um, we're on that po we're at that point and you know the economy is in the same spot then we've obviously failed you know we've got to learn lessons and, and and that's what we've done so there's gonna be a lot of changes a lot of things are gonna be different a lot of bosses are gonna be removed straight up a lot of them will act differently um, some mini games will be removed additional ones will be added current ones will be changed I, I want to touch basically every single aspect of the game um, so how it's going to work, what the plan is, like the actual plan. So the server is going to go down today. After I'm done making this video, I'm going to shut the server down. I don't think it's worth keeping up. I know people are going to say, well, why don't you do like a spawn server? I don't think it's worth it because it's going to just kind of devalue the, um, the, de it's going to, it's what, what, how I feel it's going to, what's going to happen is like with the grand opening, you have this opportunity to like create some hype. And if we just kept the server up, uh, just kind of sitting there and people slowly play. Because I don't think anyone would play it anyways. I think we'd only have maybe f maybe four or five, six players on spawn just messing around one day or two. But um, I just think that uh, it's better to go, go cold turkey, just go silent, go dark, um, and really work on the product. Because that's, that's the only thing that people really care about. You know, this video, um, you know, it's going to make some people pissed off. It's going to make some people devastated. It's going to make some people really, really happy. Um, and like, I, I just want to make sure that, that we do enough to prove that it was worth it, that, that, that this isn't a mistake. Um, I, I, I don't know if it is, it, I feel like we're kind of at that point where, um, RuneScape was in 2007 where they were like, okay, well the banks are not going to let us charge money anymore. So the only thing we can really do is, I mean, obviously the situation isn't the same. I'm just saying that they're. They're in like that same boat where they have to make this drastic decision. They don't know if it's going to be a failure or not. And obviously, it turned out to be a massive failure. Hopefully, this one isn't. You know, I mean, I, I, I'm, 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 I'm banking on it. I'm, I, I'm trusting in it, and hopefully, you guys will trust in it too. Um, and what I want to do is, uh, so if this will be the the first video. I'm going to do. Uh, you can ask your questions now. So this will be a question video. If you have any questions on the process. Um, just like, you know, like this guy right here had a question, for example, if you have any of those types of questions, I'll answer that one specifically in a second. But if you have any questions at all about the process, what's going to happen to this, what's going to be that, is there going to be this, that, 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 you can ask them in this video. I'm going to do my best to reply to them all. I'm going to make a, another video and uh, replying to them. Uh, I'll, make a, I'll make a video because if I just do the comments, then people aren't going to want to like go check an old video and see what people were saying. But I'll, I'll make a video about it. And then from that point on, I'm only going to do probably two or three more videos and I'll do them like once every month and it's just going to be kind of a mini update on what's changed. I don't want to go too much into it because I don't want it to be like, I don't want you to have a, a good idea of what's actually going to happen. But I just kind of want to prove where we're at. We're still working on things and, and, and show you guys actual some, some real progress and some real changes. So um, that's the plan for that. I'm not going to talk too much about, uh, like I said, I don't want to ruin the, the surprise. Like the, it's not really surprises. I just don't want to to taint it or anything like that. I, I don't want to devalue anything like that. I want to keep it, keep it all real, you know, secret. And I want you to just kind of just be uh, surprised, like just excited and surprised on day one of release. Um, the plan is to release the server on June first. That it, that would have been our fourth year anniversary. Um, I don't know exactly how we'll. I mean, it'll be 
I, I, it's not really our fourth year, but that's what it would have been. So we're going to take the server down for quite a while. Odds are most of you will forget that it even exists. That's kind of the hope, I suppose, is to, to make sure that you really, really feel like you're playing a brand new server that, like, you somehow know, though, like in RuneScape. Like, you, you'll, 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 feel, you'll, you'll remember things. They'll feel slightly familiar. You know how Revival kind of has that over, overwhelming um, start about it. There's so, many, so much content and everything, and that's kind of... We want to improve that and make sure it's more spread out and more, like more um explored in game like you'll progress through the content naturally rather than just having to figure out what everything is randomly like oh wait this exists how did i not know that this exists i want you to know like every aspect of the game um just naturally through progression that's how i you know that, that's how we want to design it um so if you have any questions any suggestions anything you want to see you want to tell me you hate me you want to tell me you quit your opportunities now in this video um and then i'll, I'll do another video i'll reply to that and then we'll, we'll basically be going dark um, as far as donations go, all donations will be refunded, your points. So how it's going to work is our database uh, where you, you donate is going to be refreshed. So every person who's ever donated, you do colon colon claim and you get whatever you, you just donated for. You're basically going to be doing colon colon claim and you'll get everything you ever donated for again. That's hopefully how it will go. No matter what we do, we'll definitely are going to refund the actual points. The actual points, I understand that that's going to cause some um uproar and hopefully uh we can do enough to to mitigate that that is one thing we want to look at is the donation system and how we can make it as um my, my goal is to make it so it's really all about you and not about the game or the economy i want to make it easier for you yourself i want to make like i want to have colored perks cosmetics and figure out ways to incentivize people to do those things. You know, I want it to be a lot less about, oh, I'm just going to buy the most overpowered box or I'm going to buy my weapon straight up, I'm going to buy my gear. It's going to be a lot more balanced for, um, you know, making you better rather than, you know, making the game, <laughs> making the items better and stuff. So, like, there will be untradeable things, there will be unlockables, there will be XP boosts, there will be a ton of different things. Um, and obviously, everyone at the start having their points back is going to be pretty crazy and... Um, a little overwhelming for the in-game economy, but like I said, it's not going to be so much about just buying full bandos day one. Everybody's rocking full bandos and has the same gear. You know, everyone just goes to the donator shop and buys um, full raid boxes. They not even the raid boxes won't even exist anymore. There's plenty of things that are going to be changed, so I wouldn't worry about that too much. At least until you have the opportunity to see how it works all in game and everything. Um, and, and my hope is to, to make it so that there's incentive for everyone to not just go crazy and blow all their points the first day. I think you also have to keep in mind that, sure, there have been a lot of people who donated throughout the three-year history of Revival, but not every single person is going to come back day one and, um, you know, blow all their points. It's not really going to happen. I, I expect a slow start, I think, even with... Even if we can successfully build up hype and do enough changes and get some good advertisements out on day one, June uh, 1st, 2021, like, um, I think we'll still have probably a slow start. We'll have to earn it. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I think we, we deserve it. You know, I, I don't want to, I don't want it to be easy. I don't want to just, I don't, we don't deserve that, right? We don't deserve it. It's got to be tough. We've got to, we've got to, we've got to work hard to, to make sure that people know that this reset wasn't a mistake. Um, so I'm going to keep the games uh, as I close this server down right now. I hope they didn't do anything crazy like drop all their stuff because I'm going to keep this save and save it locked away on a USB called Revival 1. Um, so forever down the road where we've, let's just say it was a mess, massive mistake. People hate Revival 2. Changes were bad. People want Revival 1 back. We'll, we'll be able to make that decision if we if we wanted to. Um, if there's anything I forgot to cover, uh, you will keep your, your actual... Uh, you, like I said, you'll get your points back. The ranking system is probably going to be different, so it'll it'll be a lot less tied to donator. So likely you'll probably won't have your rank, um, but you'll get your points back. Um, also, and I don't know if I finished talking about the points, but that's going to work based on claims. So like if you donated on an Iron Man's behalf, like you sold a donation, the Iron Man account would get the donation back, not you. So that's just how it works. It's that's how we have to have it work. It's based on the claim. Um, that's, I mean, you sold a donation at the time anyway, so realistically it should be theirs. Or if you bought donations and you, you want to claim, you'll be able to claim. All the accounts will be kept the same, so you can't just, like, make make all of the big donators' names and snipe all of their claims, uh, snipe all their donations immediately. Um, all of the names will be, uh, the, all the account names that are already existing will, will stay the same. I'm going to make some, um, 
hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, because that's the easiest way we could possibly do it. But if we, like, we're we're gonna we want we're gonna do whatever's best for the players, what not not whatever's easiest. It's gonna be whatever's best for the players. So. Um, don't worry about that. We're going to be looking out for you guys one way or another. But the plan is to give everybody their donated points back. The rank system will be uh, different, so probably not your exact rank. Stats, uh, you won't get stats back. And obviously, if I didn't say it enough, the economy will be wiped out. Everyone's items will be reset. You will be a fresh level 3. Uh, there will be legacy rewards, and those will be already on your account when you log in. Um, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a process. You obviously have a lot of opportunities to talk to me, give me your opinions, give me your suggestions, tell me you hate it, you love it, or whatever. I know this is tough, and I know, like I said, I know a lot of people are gonna be pissed, a lot of people will be happy, a lot of people will be devastated. I, I just we just we came to the conclusion that this is what we're gonna have to do. It's a tough decision. I know a lot of people are gonna be mad, um, but I think I think it's the best for the game. And hopefully, hopefully you we will see that. Hopefully it will come to fruition. Hopefully we can do enough changes and prove to you guys that this was the right call. So if you, if you have anything at all, please let us know. I just want to make this last video. Uh, see you guys in June. Well, actually, I'm probably going to make, like I said, I'm going to make, I'm going to make the, the next video where I reply to your questions from this one. And then I will do uh, three more. Um, well, I'll do a video every month or every other month, and I'll just show off a little bit and talk about the progress. I'll probably talk about more behind-the-scenes bug fixes stuff rather than content changes because that's more important anyways, and then it's not about the, um, the actual game. But that's going to do it. Uh, probably by the time you're seeing this video, the server is already down, so you won't have any time to do any crazy decisions like that one. <laughs> Sorry, Iron Bay. Um, hopefully we're never using the save file ever again, but um, yeah. I uh, apologize for, for just not having any content for you guys. Um, I didn't want to tread water. I didn't want to try to just... I have the Halloween event like almost done, but it's the fucking Halloween event and we're into November. I was going to rename it the Prayer Appreciation event, but it's like, I, that, how is that going to... Nobody wants that. How are you going to feel appreciated by some shitty event? That, you know what I mean? Like So... We just, uh, I just didn't want to do that. I figured it'd be better to now to just rip that fucking band-aid off um, and get started. I want to get started. I want to, you know, start working. You know, it's it's different coding when you have players. I mean, you don't. Like, I'm already, like, I can just do anything. I can remove that NPC. I don't like him. He's fucking gone. I don't have to worry about any repercussions. I don't have to worry about, oh, well, this devalues this Iron Man. I don't have to worry about this guy, that. I don't have to worry about none of that. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you have, like I said, if you have any suggestions, any comments, anything at all below.